purpose? Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokoff, and get me those credentials. Gotta get it. Get it you done. Better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration. Boot that bitch. I decided to cut him from the fleet. Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Super Rob in one piece. I think you've made the right decision. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rock of Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. Actually, technically, no, that's and not remember, my last stop. My next stop Rockoff is going to be. Rock does not need to know anything stuff. about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook. Before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Copy that. All right, I have got to bio everybody. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Should you be back for your trip? Have a job you did down there, Rook. Hell of a job. If you have any last questions about the job, ask them now. Hell of a job you did down there, Rook. Hell of a job. Shouldn't you be packing for your trip? If you have any last questions about the job, ask them now. If you have any last questions about the job, ask them now. Hell of a job you did down there, Rook. Hell of a job. Any last questions about the job? Ask them now. Shouldn't you be packing for your trip? All right. Now we need to go down and talk to her about something. Down to her. We've got a pretty tight security schedule. Regular patrols outside and inside the keep. We may not have official security on the keep, but we are always looking out for traitors. I don't know about yeah. you, but I think the welcome sign. Really? You might find a deal or two here. 
If you can overlook the spatters of blood covering all the stolen goods, <laughs> of course. So let's speak to Mathis first. You know, I went out there and I forgot to get my drink, Pippin. Took a bio, grabbed the cat, and then forgot my drink. I always thought these agents were just pests. Never. Hey, I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet. Because I'm coming after you. Why wait? Oh, and you stayed here just to say goodbye. I stayed to give you a message that you better start looking over your shoulder. You'll never know when I'll be right behind you, ready to pull the trigger. Like my colleague said, it was so nice of you to stay and wish us well. Nice job, Sarah. Now get the hell out of me way. She's like joining in to give him a little bit of, hey, can I, I'm gonna save this really quick here. I, it probably won't let me do it, but just out of sheer curiosity. How irresponsible you're acting right now. So, yeah, it, it ultimately he did become attackable, but <laughs> that's why you quick save. <laughs> yes, that's exactly why you quick save, just in case it doesn't work out like you planned. Oops. All right. Well, at least we know now. Well, isn't this? It appears we've stumbled across the embodiment of the phrase absolute. Scary lady. Oh, is that a magazine? It is. Ballistic weapons permanently do addition 5%. I'll take that and I'll take the Digipig. And the Bog Scrog. Why is it every time we go out and do a job? I'm you. There you are. Alright, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're going to finish the job for me. Yeah, I know, Ron. I, I, I have a video from my first playthrough of me attempting over and over to board his ship because I wanted to board his ship and take it from him, but it would not let me in the base game. I don't know if they have patched it since then, but it appeared at the time that I recorded that video, which is like back in like last October, you could only ever just kill his ship. You could just, you could take him out, but it would never let me board his ship to steal it from him. Like I wanted to board his ship, kill him, and take his ship, you know, because it was like, fuck you, Mathis. So we'll see if uh, maybe they change that. The beauty of quick save experiments, says Lady Atara. Absolutely. Hey, as long as I get my cut. Of course you'll get a cut. That's how everything works around here. Why would this be any different? Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Galbait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. No one likes a cheater, Neva. How about does that Galbank executive member look for anything to do with the award? No. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Galbank VIP suite so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. But I can guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. 
I'd prefer to remain focused on Crix's legacy. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. What Either you way, I get it? my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Unless you plan to walk away empty-handed, she really isn't giving us a choice. Maybe I'll just take the pay cut and save myself the trouble. You do whatever you want. I'm trying to offer you extra money and you're throwing it in my face? I'm gonna remember that. You remember anything you All want, right, bitch. Rook, we're done here. Now, I really don't like this lady. Siren, and bring me my boots. Like bullet in the head. That's what she needs. We'll talk later. Need something. Yeah, the death metal in the background. You looking to start something? Cause I'll finish it. Everybody here wants to kiss and hug me, man. They all just want to be my best friend. Visiting with the Crimson Fleet, eh? Hmm, always a pleasure. Every right. time I see Red Lee smile, I want to punch him. Now we get to go see the ship that I just got. If I had a Berian cred, I'd run my own Need a drink? Bog at the last Nova will be more than ever. And I'm gonna have to go back to somewhere close, because I need to switch back to my big ship. I have to think I have to do that like a new Atlantis or a shipyard. I don't think I, can, I can't change it here. I have things for you. Ships detached. We're clear. Man, I can't remember. Close to nothing. Uh, actually, what's in Cheyenne? Isn't Aquila here or something? Something's here, and I don't remember what it is. Grizzit, Staryard, Tara. Nah, that's not it. Well, I gotta go back here anyway, so let's, uh... Oh, I forgot I ding. Landing now. The haiku. This is so Okay. It's called space. This is an ugly ass ship. Space is cold and dark. This is not where I wanted to land. It's not where I thought. Alright, hold up. Landing area, that's where I want to go. That didn't work. That's a cool shot right there. Missiles in flight. I could dig it. I picked up something you might be interested in. You pick up anything you want. I need to switch my ship over. We're asking everyone to take you. Okay, no problem. So, prison shuttle. I did not remember getting this for my first playthrough, but that thing is going to have to get a paint job and an overhaul when I feel like it. 
Right now, though, we're going back to my shield breaker. Make home ship. Thank you very much. Let's see what I got to sell. I'm never going to use that. I'll hold on to it, though, because they're not going to give me enough coin for it. God, everybody has something for me. I'm just a popular guy, apparently. Ship is now docked. Perfect. Let's go ahead and board. Is as organized as they come. You can be sure that Let's turn in my evidence first. Remember to turn in any evidence. Good. The more you find, the stronger are. All right, found this in the warden's office. I'll be damned. So some of the UC guards at the lock helped touch off the riots. Everyone thought he was some kind of legendary criminal mastermind, but even the great Jasper Cricks needed a helping hand to get out of prison. Find anything else? I did. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Anything else? Nope. Understood. Keep searching and you're bound to find more. Okay. Let me know if you need anything else. Nope. You're back. So how did it go? Homeless said I've been using the Free Star Collective Ranger ship. It was a massive upgrade on all fronts for me. That's probably the, if I remember correctly, I think that's the best Class A ship that you can get in the game. And it's just a natural, you get it from running the faction quest line, so it's totally worth it. Um, uh, I rather liked it. It even looks kind of cool, because it's got like the, it's not like an X-Wing formation, but you know what I mean? Like it has a really cool um, shape. I really love the frontier that you get, and, and I like modding the frontier. Um, I haven't done it this time around, but my first playthrough, I seriously modded the hell out of my original frontier and made it into like a fighter ship. Um, all I did this time around was just upgraded it on my way to getting the shield breaker. But at some point, you I will probably back out. And you have permission to speak. Work on it. All right. I've successfully infiltrated the Crimson Fleet. I am confident this plan is going to work. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? I uh, searching for a Galbank ship named Legacy. Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? Excuse me, Commander. Did you say Crix's legacy? Please tell me you aren't seriously going to give that any credence. Everyone knows that's just a... I don't know, a myth? I'm holding tangible confirmation of the word legacy attached to Crix's name. That's too much of a coincidence to attribute to myth. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Hmm. It's, I think it's real, man. Well, 
We can solve that little mystery in about 10 seconds. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a Gal Bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Gal Bank is hiding something. Mm -hmm. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Um, so support a Starbiner to steal Galbank archive credentials. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Griggs was clever. But for some reason, he never got there. Proceed as planned, then. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous. The lieutenant the here, by the way, systems. she totally overplucks. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us Just more saying. information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Just, just look at that. Come back, you overplucker. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to run away now that I know your secret. You probably paint those on, don't you? Yeah, run away. <laughs> ah. Where it is, the fleet has you chasing ghosts. On I have a uh, a thing than a because I'm I'm married to a Mexican and Latina culture, especially older Mexican women, older Latinas, they like to paint eyebrows on, so they you know they use eyeliner and they paint. Some of them get tattoos, and I have this compulsion. It is, I've almost done it in public a couple of times, but when I see someone who has like painted eyebrows, I literally want to take my thumb, wet it, and just like, like pull it off. I just want to like, Wee! because it looks so horrendous. Like in no way, shape or form is that ever going to look good. You can have thin eyebrows. I have thin eyebrows. There's nothing wrong with thin eyebrows, right? Um, but like, if, if, if you want thin eyebrows, that's fine. Have thin eyebrows, but this whole painting or or tattooing of eyebrows ugh it's just i have a it's a it's you just a, key? a compulsion to just want to wipe it off man <laughs> just like please don't do that it's so bad i did a um it's been a few years ago now i did a big project like 2015 2016 so it's been eight or so years ago we were working with the oyster and trip advisor and we did like i had to do it was all through the Riviera Maya and the Riviera Pu and Puerto Vallarta. And we did, I think we did like 150 resorts in like 10 months. We were just doing, every week we were doing photo shoots and doing visits of the resorts to do photo shoots and write-ups and reviews and all the hotels and all the resorts. And it was like every freaking manager that we would meet would be some middle-aged, um, sometimes younger, but you know, middle-aged, um, Latina, Hello, Captain. you know, Hispanic woman with painted on eyebrows. And it was just, it got to be a joke between my buddy and I, because he, he and I were both going on the projects together. And it was just, you know, <laughs> smudge, smudge. All right, I knock. I'm docking complete, Captain. Stars are rearranged. We 
are here. We are here, and I just crashed into it. I'm adjusting my ship and not paying attention to docking. Dehydrated and malnourished. The and move. Sarah's like already sitting down as soon as we board the ship. That's awesome. It's a to go cup. I can't take any of these things because it's going to be viewed as stealing. So. It's a gonk joy. Maybe not. Sanitation mini bot. Cool. Uh, this is a good stopping point, everybody. We're two and a half hours in. That's a good, that's a good, good cutoff point. One o'clock my time. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Chris made mashed potatoes. And I think we have some leftover cold chicken. I will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place with more Starfield. There are videos scheduled throughout the day. So for those of you who are watching this live right now, awesome YouTube and Twitch. But if you want to watch it in episodic format later on, those do come out in 30 minute segments. I've got a bunch scheduled out today. And we'll, of course, get these episodes scheduled out for tomorrow. I already have a video prepped and ready to go for tomorrow morning, uh, which is going to be... We're talking about the future of Starfield, some of the things we know that are confirmed, and some of the rumors that are out there. Um, also, some things that will never be coming to Starfield, no matter how much people like to wish for them. Um, so that's tomorrow morning, bright and early at 6 a.m. But in the meantime, we're going to go away and do other stuff for the rest of the day, take naps, get food, etc. If you like what you saw here today, please support. It does keep me on the air full-time advertising pays some of the bills but memberships and all those things really do help so bits cheers and subscriptions on twitch super chats and memberships over on youtube i'll let you guys figure out if you want to do one-off donations or recurring memberships thanks so much don't forget the patreon you can get copies of my latest books links are all down there i'll see everybody tomorrow stay safe happy gaming